Hi, Kath. I'm going to briefly go through some of the things in my room. Um, this is a, a, a wall. It's a, it look, it's wall art. <laughs> now, it's actually efficient for me. I saw a couple different ideas through Pinterest and other places. And um, this is what came from my idea to use a dowel on wood in the frame. And I, I, it's nothing special. But I'm using these clips because they slide and I can add more. And it's one per clip. So if I was doing a painting, I would take this off. So I kind of leave the clip open because it works for me. It's efficient. It's fast. I don't have to sit here and play. Um, I take the paint off. I put it in a little box. As I'm doing the painting, um, the box holds the paints that I'm using per that painting. And then when I'm all done, they go back up here. So I don't have to fish through here and say, was it this yellow or was it that yellow? Because that was 3 o'clock in the morning and I don't remember. So... It, it goes up here and it, you know, I utilize this just a little, you know, box and if it gets messed up, I just get another one. And then it's the little shower clips. So I hold the extra here. So as I get one, they go right up because it, it's just right here for me. So that works. And then this is my easel where I work right now. Um, but this is a travel easel. So I'm working with it. I made my own palette that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to see if that's going to be efficient out in the field or, you know, whatnot. But the size right here you're seeing is um, probably uh, 15 by 22. Uh, it all packs up to that size. So it's a French easel um, and that's how it works. It's for traveling. So I want to utilize it here and see because I like storing all the little pretty things in the back and I don't, I don't need those, <laughs> but they fit. I don't, I don't need them. So I'm going to make it as lightweight as possible. This real briefly is a brush holder. It's, uh, I had to make my own because I don't like the ones they sell in the manufacturer. So, uh, um, I kind of made my own, um, and inside is, uh, when you open the box, the, the lid plus mine comes with the lid. Um, you'll see inside the box, I, uh, inside the box. Inside there is some chicken wire, so when I put my solution in there or whatever I'm using, I can rub across the chicken wire, and it's kind of like what I made here in a bag, and I use it in a bag. Um, and it's adjustable. Everything here is adjustable and replaceable, so it's more efficient than what they sell on the market. Um, then I have some my canvases and some paper John Daniels all there. I put this up here. If it works, I'm going to start putting things in it. Um, if it doesn't, I'll utilize something else or a um, over-the-door rack. Uh, this is paper that I used on an old um, clothes uh, rack, and I'm using binder clips and uh, pants, uh, old pant hangers. Wire hangers would work better than these plastics so the clip could get around it, but I didn't have any. No wire hangers. Okay, so um, some of this is imported, and some of this is, you know, real fragile. Some of it's antiqued. Um, but it's all that I had. The reason being is when it lays flat, you, you can see here, the corners get all messed up. So when it hangs, it's hanging straight. Gravity's pulling it down, pulling it flat, and um, it, it, it's working. So I actually put the binders on the bottom and clipped the tops so they hang. And I made them all flush and then clipped the tops. And then some of them, if it didn't work that way because the clip didn't fit, um, then I clip the bottoms on some of them so that it all stays sealed. And then this is sample paper. And then I have my charcoal paper for some of my drawings and other, you know, different types of papers, um, watercolor drawing, all that is utilized here. So, um, I'm going to walk into the next room, show you some of the stuff and then get to the point I reaching out. So as you can see here, some of my paintings, I just have them displayed. I'm going to go to a show soon. So for me, um, you know, I just, I want to see what I'm taking and, and, uh, you know, what, um, what I'd like with me for the show right here is a couple of odds and ends. I got to categorize and then put them away. And then here is, uh, one of the, um, recently done paintings. Uh, this is the photograph down here, and then that's an oil. Um, it was 259 hours of work, so I'm just trying to get everything more efficient so I can get through things like that maybe a little bit faster. But, um, you know, then I have my black and whites and some of my other paintings. They're here, too. They're displayed all over right now. 
And I'm also trying to do another project to find a way to store these that are efficient for me. There's so many things on YouTube, I can't stand it. Um, and they don't work for me. Um, they're, they're making cardboard boxes and, you know, I, I can't, I can't travel with all those boxes and, uh, the space I'm limited to. So, uh, cause I have a lot of paintings. So, I mean, if you had five or 10, that's great, but I don't each one I sell, I make two or three more. So, you know, I'm trying to do my little goal, my, well, my extended goal for the year. This is one I've just finished. I, I want to touch it up. I have the atmosphere wrong that um, sunspot should not be there. It should actually be down low. So I'm just going to take it out. And I think it would be a better painting. And um, as I was told. So, and this one is finished. This is a place I grew up when I was a kid. And uh, I saw a picture, asked permission, and that just finished last week. So, uh, and now we're going to go in to where my project is, and I'll show you why. Okay, so this is my little project. I saw um, a lot of the scrapbookers and uh, crafters were doing these little journal projects for inventory. But they don't work for me the way they have them because I don't use their tools, obviously, and I don't use um, half of the categories they're in. But I'm all over the map because not only am I an artist by trade, as a professional myself to sell my own paintings, I also instruct. And by instructing, I have to um, create kits for the classes. And, um, oh, you can see my monster slippers. Yeah, there's monsters in my house. So i um, just trying to blend in. Anyway, uh, so... I saw these things and I was like, well, how is that going to work for me? That's not going to work for me because I, I'm in the arts and, and there's so much stuff and so many categories and I got equipment and tools and, and, and well, the color charts work, but this doesn't. And I can't sit there and write a list and I don't have time on the computer and my printer's broken. I don't know if I'm going to pay for the printer ink or buy a new one or whatever. So, or get one donated. I, I don't know. So, um, this brings me to this. I started with uh, some things from um, other businesses that I was in and trying to utilize them all in one spot and the best items from those other organizers into what I use. So I ripped apart some other organizers to do what I was doing. First here is like the little slide slots. Um, this is scrap that if I needed to write something real quick. Um, but I have this. So I'm going to put table contents here. And I'm just going to go through it. It's still in the infantile stage, and I'm trying to talk fast because I don't know if this is going to upload, and I don't know if it's going to time out on me. So um, then the next section I have for returns. Now, I have a lot of returns because the same thing in the scrapbookers is happening to me is when you go to the craft store, or you go to the art supply store, which is one and the same, uh, you get there, and you're not impulse buying, but you tend to go to what you know. And I have a couple go-to things and items that every time I see a brand new one, it's like, oh, wow, I got to have one. Oh, it's on sale. Sure, take one. And now I got seven of them. And I don't need it. And it's, it's, it's time-wasting and it's, it's financially wasting time, money. And, and so I'm trying to get more efficient there and, and uh, sticking with my budget and what I need and what I'm using and what is actually selling in those items. So, um, so this would be my return column here and again this is the small journal my you know book size um, that I would take with me to the store for what I need this is the acrylic section and then I have charcoal drawing and here's oils I got this started um, so here's one of the brands that I, I started with I tend to like it um, I like the way it moves I'm not a fan of how the actual container works it wastes um, stuff and I'm, I'm looking for new containers to hold oil paint but nothing's working because once it's open it's almost ruined so um, because I have some that I, I need to salvage um, this is a chart their chart I got offline the printer worked for this amazingly I added the colors that I have that this doesn't and the names and then I'm going to contact paper this so it's smooth and shiny and I'll show you why and I outside the tab what it is so while it's closed I know what's inside it and it doesn't affect it when it's open so yaha and then here's the reason 
this is one of the items I use um, and one of the paints uh, that has it and these are the ones I have like the scrappers they know which colors they have and which they don't so I put an X here but I did it with my dry erase marker and I've tried this video a couple times so I'm just gonna show you that here I have this one so um, I know I have it but it's dry erase because I put packing tape over this I did this side this side and then down the middle because um, so I, I could write on it and then if I buy it all I have to do is wipe it off doesn't have to be with my finger but um, it can be and so that way I know these are the ones I have and I like this product so if I want a new color I can go to this if they're having a buy one get one or whatever usually paint is buy two get one and you might as well wait for 40 percent off because it's a better deal um, and then I have just other sections that as I get there I'll use then this is another paint that I used it came in a in a in a, in a small kit thing. Um, it's a 12 pack set. Um, I was going to use it in the classes but I'm not a fan of using oil with children because there's too many components with it. So um, it's a 12 pack and I was playing with it see how it works. I may do one instructional class in the future of just intro to uh, oil one two sh shot class. Right now I have one in use and I have seven 12 packs of all these colors. So I don't have to replace those. I'm pretty much set. Uh, I like the ochre in this one, so just for that, I have eight of them. That's great. So I don't have to buy a yellow ochre and something else because I'm liking this one, so it's fine. Um, and at least I know that's not something I did. This is something in their kits, the soft pastels. Um, they love it because uh, it reminds them of sidewalk chalk, and they get the same kind of play but better with the, with the textured paper that I use and the specialty papers that I give them and so that's one product and this goes in as um, to the next section but it's here right now because that's where I left off this is my teaching supplies it's actually supplies that I use to instruct with um, I don't have anything in here because I started this little thing and I had strips with all different sizes going in each section to flip through to see what I, it didn't work it's crazy the scrapbook problem for me is too many lists I'm a visual person, it's just way too many lists, I won't keep up with them. This is amazing that I've had this for a year and I'm still working with it, it works for me. This is the, the, the kit and the prices and you know how much it works out per kit. Um, this was another class, uh, so I have two classes here. If I open up another one and decide something different, I'll have those items in there. And I again can contact paper this, make it a little more sturdy and write on wipe off. Wipe off um, what I have, what I don't have, in stock, out of stock, how many I need for the new classes because I have overstock. Um, and then this is just one of the purchase orders. So I did a purchase order section and I'm going to put all the, the um, invoices in here so I know when I'm out to the store. I have that in hand and if they're on sale, what did I actually get it for buying in bulk? Um, sometimes I get a better deal. Um, and then there, uh, little uh, order forms. So if I want to start when I'm in the store, I have an order form with me. And then this is my project section. Um, here's one I, I, I put in, I started to put in last night just to um, see how it works. And uh, it's a box. The reason being is I was in Home Depot and those guys looked at me like I had, like they had deer, they were deer in the headlights. They had no clue what I was talking about. And I'm like, seriously, you know, um, so I had to draw it out. And once I drew it out, they were like, oh, I get it. And then, okay, you're going to need this, you're going to need a hinge, you're going to need a handle, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, you're going to need these kind of screws and that kind of thing. And then they showed me everything, and I took a picture of what they had, and then went and looked at my dad's wood shop, and he had everything. So I really didn't have to purchase anything, but, um, so it, it worked. He had the wood, he had everything. So, um, but down here, you know, my first one that I tried to build the box, um, it was an epic fail. It, I wrote it, um, because the box was too light, so it broke. And the second one, it's too heavy. So if the box is too heavy, I can't put anything in it. It's going to make it even heavier, and it's supposed to be a travel box. So, And then just extra paper, because this paper in the front is from the big pad, and I cut it to fit because I didn't need to buy anything. So I cut this to fit, and then I took the extra strip and put it here, and I took the, 
the, the remainder and put it there. And then um, this has grid paper, so each project has its own grid paper that I utilized from a pad, and I just cut it in half and put it in the binder, and um, then each one has a project and a grid. So if I'm out and somebody gives me an idea in a flash moment, because, you know, the impulse of a new creative idea, you got to get it, got to get it down, and a, a grid paper is good to work on there. And then lastly, I had this stuff, which is record paper. You know, um, I was using it for, you know, what I was bringing to shows and stuff like that. It started to work, but it didn't work entirely because it was this book and then part of this book that had this in it and then part of, the, you know, I, it's just too much to carry. So putting it all in one may work. Um, if not, I'll just delete it and start another section. And then this is, um, it could be in use and and need or it could it, this could be anything, but I, I took the little pad and I glued it to a harder form so this stays and then I put the holes in the bigger paper and left the pad free fall. So um, uh, this binder was cute. It has a pocket, it has a pen holder, so it may be useful. I'm thinking I need the business card holders because this is not going to be enough, but if you can see there's folders this way, there's a zipper here and a front pocket. So, um, so that'll be utilized that way. Which brings me to this is what I created because this holds my business cards and I do a business card swap. So if you're out with me or whatever and um, and I give you a business card, maybe you want one of theirs. And then um, behind here I have the name of the person. And then um, if they want to utilize them for an event or a gig or whatever and, um, you know, just what they're doing then they can take one of their cards these guys give me more and then um, you know the person who took it says oh you know Josie gave me your card and you know it's networking it works for me it's you know I'd rather give you somebody I know if you're asking hey you know a good band or whatever it, well let me see you know they're in here yeah I've heard and they're great blah 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 so then that brings me to what I started here's extra business cards and because of those little tab things that didn't work in the other book, I cut them down into the business card size. So I used that, and then I just cut, and I put them all in here. These are the items the kids have in their kits. Um, that way I know, you know, I have three of these right now because I bought it in bulk. I needed a 12-pack to buy the purchase. So I have, you know, a couple of these left. One was for my kit because I use what they use in the class, but I don't use what they use when I'm painting a professional picture. So... I have like I guess two left over that I can utilize when the kits start again because um, you can't return them and then the certain types of stuff that they use and I put them all in here this way when I know I have to order it I can just slip the card out and go and bring it with or put it in a new you know business card thing that would fit in this so I think that it might be a healthy purchase. That way I know every business card visual there, I'm going to the store, I'm put, picking this up, I'm putting it in, um, in my cart, and then I'll take this and slip it, you know, into the zipper pocket once it's in the cart, and I know I've got that, I got that, I got that, I got that, done. It's visual for me. I don't have to re start recouping. Also, I can cover these with packing tape and just write on them. So, and because that stuff is, like, artist gold. Um, then I have some of the books that I have. I, I've been taking pictures, so, and um, if I take a picture, I can just put it into a business card file, put the business cards through the printer, but right now the printer's, like, I don't know if the printer's dying or if it's just out of ink again, and I'm not sure whether it needs a new printer or needs just ink. And then some things are maybe I have the man on, on the, the figure, but um, the kids wanted to see a female, and I didn't have it, so I know when it gets on sale, we'll do that um, as another class. These are easels I have, which ones I use, which ones I use for shows, um, carryalls that come with. Um, so I don't need to buy easels, so that's going to be in a different section, but I just started this and putting it in here. This is the one I use, which has um, leather bound. It's, it's, uh, it was a donation. Um, but this is the one the kids use that comes in their kit. They are uh, lightweight for them, and they hold all their stuff. They love them. 
and they look professional, so they're so cute. And, um, and then we have just some other stuff, and this is from the thing where I got it, and, you know, how much, and, and I just go in there, so if I can't find them, and they moved them, or they moved the aisle in the store, I could just go to the person, hey, can you skew this, where are they, how many do you have, I want some, and it's right there, you can just take them off the tops like this, you know, as a racer shield, and I could just take the top off once this is opened, and just put this in there, you know, so I know that's the product, and it says on it what it is, so, you know, it goes right in here like a swap thing, and it makes it more fun for me because now it goes in and out the pockets. And then these are my all-time favorite pads, so I have way too many of them. Buying in duplicates was was the reason I started watching um, to save on buying duplicates. Was why I started watching the scrapbookers. This here is your idea, only because but you you made a fancy one with covered in paper and all that. I just needed to I just put everything in the tub so I know when I'm making and creating these books they go in, it's going to go here and then these are the stuff to help them and then this can go in its own place. Um, these are the books I use. I get catalog after catalog after catalog and I can just see like this is a, the acrylics I use and I use them from a different store but here's the picture and that's business card size. So I just cut this out. Even if I just cut this out all the way down with the chart, I can fold it and put it in there and say I have this one, this one, this one, or put it in the thing and put the picture in here and then put the chart in the book and say, okay, here's the visual. I need these and I need whatever color. And, you know, it's it works for all this stuff. So, um, like, this one is one of the flyers that came and the flyers outdated but this chart is I don't have to write type or put colors in I don't have to copy paste from the site it's right here just cut it out put it in the sleeve done or you know put something shiny over it and, and you can dry erase the other easels I have the other stuff that was either donated or given um, whatever and you know, here's some of the books that I can cut these out because now I have those in the room and I know I have, you know, three of these in the big size, one of those and two of those, or I think three of those, but two different sizes. And, um, here's the other ones. Here's that one again, you know, that's the red flag. I'm just going to write red flag on that. Don't buy those. Um, I have too many. So, um, and, and that will save me in the future because it's like every time I go, I buy one. Um, I, I don't know if it's like, ooh, it's nice, crisp, and shiny, I want to mess it up, or what the reason is, but i got to have one every time. Um, so that's what I'm utilizing, and then I made a master over here of the bigger one that I can leave at home and categorize everything and then make sure it's in here, or is that too much, uh, you know, um, or just use this and the little one, uh, you know, because I have all these things I can tear up with all these charts and I can put them all in but I like the business card trading card thing the other thing I found that it could be useful in the future is at events with other artists you know I like I said I got seven of these well you know maybe they never tried it and they want to try it I can trade them for maybe something they have and then you know utilize it that way because I can't return them now and um, some things that aren't returnable are going to sit you know, the year's worth of supplies and I don't need it or, you know, uh, put it in extra supplies that, you know, maybe one of the kids wants to purchase at a discount or whatever, just because I want to get rid of it, get it out of here. But, um, it's not something I can throw away because, uh, I have it now. So, and it's just those things. So maybe they can look through here and say, Oh, well, you got two of those. I could really use one, but, um, I heard you wanted that that other, you know, you, you want the female. I have a female. I never even use it. There, we swapped items. I mean, that is just something how I see the world. And then, you know, all the little stuff. So I don't want to be repetitive, and I don't want to keep you, and I know I'm like 25 minutes, and this probably won't upload. But um, if you have any thoughts or ideas, the last thing is this is what comes, carries the paint, the paint brushes when you buy them. But I don't throw them out because I can three ring bind this and make one for each store. And I can do store categories and receipts right here with them. 
and I don't have to go buy these things because I have them because sometimes I just throw brushes in them and take them to class or you can um, or I throw dirty brushes in them and bring them home and throw them in the freezer for the next week because um, if you put like acrylic or watercolor brushes in the freezer they're frozen by water so when they defrost they're ready to go and uh, you don't have to wash them you don't have to clean up it's right in the bag so there's a couple uses for those um, I use them for both because every time you buy some you get some and go from there so I, I appreciate your thoughts on how this could work for me um, I don't need a pretty I, like I said I just need efficient and um, I, I don't need to sit here and stamp all my pages and I mean God bless them they love that stuff but it's not for me those are demons I just don't want to deal with um, they're dark angels so um, it, it just just some thoughts or you know maybe something you know I don't because uh, you are the queen so let me know it was nice chatting I uh, hope to hear from you hope you're having a great day uh, glad we found, we connected and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.